Well, Frances um, grew up um, in Devon, um, in Holberton in Devon. She was in Newport from the 1840s right through to her death in, in 1897. Um, and she was a prolific watercolourist. The uh, museum have uh, 50 plus of her watercolours and um, we put it together an exhibition of about, I think it's about 25 to 30 of her paintings. We met with Alan Lloyd-Smith. He's a, a retired doctor in Kent and his wife. Um, they, they'd come up to um, look around the, the deanery, what was the vicarage back in the 1840s and the 1850s when Francis lived there. He brought with him a, quite a large portfolio of his paintings, um, paintings that had been handed down to him by his family. And we also um, took them to, um, to the graveyard in, in the, the, uh, the cemetery in St Wallace. And there they were able to find the graves um, of Francis and also of her husband Edward who, had, who died the year before. Um, Francis um, was my three great grandmother. She was the daughter of um, Captain John Twiston, who was a naval officer. She and her sisters, their, their recreation was, was watercolour paintings, but also gardening and sewing and things that Victorian ladies did. There was a tutor, a man called the Reverend John Eagles, who um, was quite well known at the time and was, was a, an instructor and tutor and, and, and perhaps took her through the early stages of learning the technique of watercolours. She married Edward Hawkins, who I think probably was the curate at Halberton in 1835. And then in the early 1840s, he was appointed the vicar and then perhaps the dean of St Wallows. And they moved here just after the Chartists had an uprising. The paintings have been kept in the main, in, in files, probably in the attic in my mother's and my grandmother's houses. So the colours have been very well preserved. So they've been unseen really for over a hundred years. I think Francis was also involved with some schooling and some children from Newport City, so she had other interests on a, 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 a social st structure, but that was perhaps the way the Church of England worked in those days. So what we have is a selection of paintings from the 1850s, uh, the 1860s and the 1870s the ones we've chosen focus on Newport because that's really what this ex exhibition is about. It's about Victoria Newport through her eyes. And the Newport that she very much knew, and the people that she knew, the gentry. We've, we've called the exhibition The View from the Hill, and I think that's really what it is. Considering she lived just a couple of hundred yards from the workhouse, for example, nothing of that features in the paintings. Very little of Pilgwentley, only from the distance. We see the ships in the dock. We see nothing else. So it's a semi-rural landscape, a world of Frances Hawkins and her life in Stowe Hill. I think the one that we've used in the poster um, is, is possibly my favourite. It's a nocturne painted of St Wallace. I think that's a stunning painting. We're, we're, we're very much looking at Newport and um, what the paintings tell us about Newport at that time. And this is something that Von Mag, of course, is very keen to develop, um, this focus on on Newport um, and its connections with our museum, our art gallery.